All right, guys. You have now had a chance to go outside, uh, start to play around the GPS units, get a little bit of a crash course in how they work, collect some data, and now I want to go ahead and bring that back to the classroom, uh, download our data to some sort of usable form where we can begin to analyze it and, and, and look at our results. So the first thing I want you guys to do is grab your GPS units, go ahead and fire them up. Then in the box included is a USB cord. Go ahead and plug the USB cord into the computer first. Then go ahead and plug the mini USB part into the back of your GPS unit. There's a little weather uh, flap on the back. You flip that up and then you can plug it in there. And then that should pop up just like a USB drive would if you'd use a USB drive. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the internets and we're going to use a website called GPS Visualizer. Now there's lots of websites, uh, software that can do what GPS Visualizer is going to do but this is a pretty easy to use uh, resource. It's free so it's kind of what I like about it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Maps. Alright let's go full screen here and I'm going to make a map of my data points. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit browse here and I'm going to go ahead and load some data points. So over here under computer just like a flash drive would be there's my uh, GPS unit. I'll go to Garmin, GPX, that's the type of files that the GPS saves as. And here are my files. Now I had some previous dates in there but yesterday 317 St. Patty's Day was the day that I collected the data so I'm only going to use those. You guys want to make sure you're only using the, the data from the day that you were out. So I'll start with this guy, this bad A dollar sign dollar sign GPS day file. Go ahead and open that. And I want to do a couple more files. I'm going to go browse. I'm also going to go ahead and put anything else with that date in there. So we'll go with this front guy. Open. Go browse. We'll go with uh, my track. I'm not sure what that one is, but we'll see what that is. I think that's going to be the same as this one, but we'll see how it goes. And we need one more, so I'm going to hit that little button there, browse, and let's put in my waypoints. These are going to be your points that you collected while you're out there. There we go. And then I might mess with some of my uh, parameters over here. For example, I just know from experience that the map is too small, so I'm going to change this width to 1200. Okay, I think that's a little better for my size. You can play with that all you want. Uh, full screen mode should be good. Uh, tracks, let's see, color categorized by recommended. Uh, I think we're good there. Default color. Everything should be good, I think. Oh, there we go. I might change my units to US. All right, now let's go draw the map. Okay, there's Bend High. Uh, we can go ahead and look at that. You can see that there is my track that I made. I, I walked around here. I used this to calculate the area of this, this front area up here. I marked a tree right there. Okay, it just happens to be a real tree right there. Stop sign right there I marked. Down here, there was a little fire hydrant, and I marked that, so you can see those as well. Um, you can highlight also over my bad A dollar sign dollar sign track there. I can go uh, click on front, so I can click uh, to hide. There you go. I can hide that one if I didn't want to throw that one. I can see just that and so forth. Um, I believe that's pretty good data. Now you guys might have uh, some stuff over here on the track because you guys are probably more over the track but I just happened to get the school area there. Okay, So what we want to do is we want to be able to save this. So the w best way to save it is to use a tool that I like and I go to all programs here, accessories and snipping tool. Snipping tool is a great little cut and paste tool. Uh, we'll go new. Okay, we'll just drag over this area here. Boom cuts it for me. I'll go copy. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and open up uh, Microsoft Word and control V as in Victor, paste it in there and now I have a map. And you guys will need to do the same. You guys will attach this to your salmon sheet of paper or your, your worksheet 
with your names on it and you'll turn this in, print this out and turn this in. Uh, last thing that I want to show you guys really quick, and this is important, is, oh, oh let me show you a couple things, sorry. Let me go back up here. If you guys didn't like your map for any reason, it opened another window, so you could go back to the first window, change things if you needed to, and and then hit uh, draw map again, it'll just draw another map. But if you do like what you got, and you're all done with your GPS, go ahead and do a couple things for me. Turn off your GPS, and then over here, we want to go eject. Okay, currently in use, might be using the device, then try again. Let's see here, let's go ahead and close all these guys. Okay, and let's try this one more time. And now it's safe to remove my GPS, and I'll unplug it and put everything away. There you go, enjoy.